time for the great one, the YouTube People's Champ. Oh, to do another reaction. On Monday Night Raw, we saw yet another emotional interview. This time from Eric Rowan of the Wyatt Six. Hi, Lee. Jay Rock has come back to you, too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? And the millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby J-Rock is here. Got to give a quick shout out uh, to the throwback jersey, to the one and only, the late Je Joe Jellybean Bryan, who just recently passed away, rest in peace, um, to Mamba Sr. Um, rest in peace, man. Condolences, thoughts with the friends and family at this time, but yeah, wanted to show some love to the to the Bryant family and 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 uh, put this one on for them. Um, yeah, rest in peace, Joe Bryant. Um, speaking of resting in peace, uh, we got another emotional um, interview this past Monday night on Raw when Eric Rowan of the Wyatt Six, formerly of the Wyatt family. Uh, gave a very emotional, heartfelt promo. Um, obviously, you know, going back to, you know, uh, Brody Lee and obviously, of course, the one and only uh, Wyndham Rotunda, better known as Bray Wyatt. Uh, they were the Wyatt family. The original three of the Wyatt family, then Braun came in and now you got the Wyatt six. Um, and he, he gave a very emotional interview. We're going to listen to it. Obviously, you can't watch it for copyright reasons. You just hear the audio of it. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's check this thing out, baby. Showtime. How have you been? I'm not going to lie. The last... A few years have been very, very hard. You know I used to have a family. We were unstoppable, inseparable. Always had each other's backs. And then one day, just... The whole world changed. I, uh... I lost a brother. The person in this world who believed in me more than anybody else, just gone. It, it knocked me on my ass, I'm not gonna lie. But in those situations, you get up, then you wipe the dust off, and you just keep moving. Because that's what you gotta do. Life goes on. And just when I thought I had everything going, my other brother, He's gone too. Which meant I had no more family, no more will. I think. I fell down a well. I couldn't get out. I didn't want to get out. Why? Why would I want to get out? I felt catatonic. I couldn't move, numb to everything, numb to the world. And who's gonna miss me? Hmm? I'm just Rowan. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? me hope 
you know, when I was at my lowest, and you reached out to me and you pulled me up. When I saw your hand, I accepted it. Because I knew I needed it. I knew I needed help. And I got up, and now I had a purpose. A purpose in my life. A purpose to help those like myself. This reminds me of that beacon of hope. We're gonna take our broken hearts and make some beautiful world. Well, J-Rock says this, um, you felt that one. You felt that one similar to the way you felt Bo Dallas's interview that he did. Um, I'm assuming, and J-Rock could be wrong, that they're gonna do like their own little thing with all of all five members of the Y6. They did Bo, they did Rowan. I don't know if, if it, you know, it's gonna be Nikki next. Uh, who, you know, I don't know. Um, but, um, you felt that, you know, when he said that, who's gonna miss me? I'm just, I'm just wrong, you know? Um, it was powerful, poignant, uh, straight, pretty straightforward, you know? And you felt for him. You know, I think this is the first time I can honestly say that I actually, really gave a damn about what Eric Warren had to say. Not gonna lie to you. Any other time, I really wouldn't care. Like, he was right, who would miss him? You know, he was, he was in the background, I'll say that. You know, Bray Wyatt was shining so brightly. Um, he was in the background. I, I, I wanna say the only time where you kinda really, really paid attention to Eric Rowan was when the Wyatt family split and then Eric Rowan came back to join Team Cena at Survivor Series because Luke Harper had joined Triple H's team. And we were like, oh my God, you know, what's gonna happen, you know? After that, it was just, they formed the Bludgeon Brothers, but then, you know, Luke went away to um, AEW. Eric tried to do something when he came back with the little animal in the cage or whatever. Um, you know, he tried to do something, add some mystery to the character, if you, if you will, but, you know, it was fodder. You know, it lasted about, you know, for a cup of coffee and that was it. But now he is back in a role that more suits him. Um, this time, I don't think people will forget him now. You know, because he's the original. You know, of the other members of the Wyatt family, he's the original. He's the last one standing. Uh, to no fault of his own, but he's the last one standing. And so now he's got to, you know, show um, everybody how to do this, if you will. Um, we got a little glimpse of them on Monday Night Raw when, you know, we finally saw the forming of a new Alpha Academy, if that's what they're going to keep calling it, or Master Academy, whatever he wants to call it now. Um with the Creed Brothers and Chad Gable, you know, and they came out and attacked Bo Dallas, and shout out to Bo Dallas, man. Uh, he has really, uh, he has picked up the torch and he is carrying that thing, man. You know, he is carrying that torch, and um, his brother would be proud. His brother would be proud the way he's carrying it. You know, when they was beating him up and he was laughing in the ring, you know, it was like, oh, you you knew what was, look, let me tell you something. When you whoop, when you in a fight, and you are whooping their candy ass, you're laying the smack down, and they're just laughing, bruh, it's time to go. It's, you like, bruh, it's time to leave. Like, they're not off, it's time to go. And you know the backup was coming. It was just a matter of when and how. Um, now, a lot of people were giving, you know, the Alpha Academy a lot of hard time, like, why are y'all still in the ring? Well, you remember last time Chad Gable got out the ring and tried to run through the crowd. Everywhere he turned around, somebody from the Y6 was there. 
So I guess he was trying to figure out, like, okay, where are they coming from and where can I make my escape? You know, then when he saw all of them, it's like, I'm out. He didn't even wait for the Creed brothers. He didn't even tap him on the shoulder and say, let's roll. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> but that's Chad Gable for you. He'll eventually become the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Um, because, you know, the Creed brothers, they probably won the tag champion. It, it, they're going to they're gonna give the Alpha Academy some run, Master Academy. They're going to give it some run, see how it goes. Because uh, the Creed brothers, they're, they're the real deal. All right? We'll see how they factor as heels, but they're the real deal. But, yeah, everybody's talking about the wide six, Bo Dallas, Eric Rowan. This was a powerful, powerful promo. You felt it uh, right here in the people's, uh, the people's heart. And so, um, look forward to see what they do with them next. All right? Eventually, they got to have a match. And, uh, you know, the promos and, you know, the sneak-ins and all that stuff, that's, that's cool and all, but eventually you got to get in the ring and let's see what we can do and how this, you know, what moves are they going to use? You know, how are they going to, you know, you know, um, put together the, 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 the creepy, scary family, but then bring that into the ring? How are they going to tell stories there? That sort of thing. And so, uh, they're keeping us on the edge of our seats. J-Rock will admit that. But, now... J-Rock wants to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the Eric Warren interview? Who do you think they uh, is going to have the first match out of the Wyatt family? Will it be Bo Dallas? Will it be Eric Rowan? Who will? Going to have the very first match. Will it be a tag match, six-man match? How will it work? All right, J-Rock wants to know what your thoughts are below. All right, post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what thoughts are reacting to this video. No rhyme. I'm intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction hit that like button subscribe and share make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified you can join us at rock stay tuned for the next video mamba gg and wakanda forever if you smell what's your name ah, cook it